According to South Korea media outlets, on February 15, 2020, the Church of Almighty God, CAG, a religious organization, covered fake news and propagated its cult creeds on the website Bitter Winter. The website argued that the COVID-19 pandemic is a trial of infectious disease imposed on all mankind by Yang Xiangbing, the leader of the CAG. More than that, he argues all believers must preach on a daily basis, otherwise they will be eliminated in this disastrous test. The about 3,600 word instructions released by the CAG on the website Bitter Winter was filled with key points of Almighty God wiping out the plague, preaching the gospel, and do not stop. People from all over the world have been jittery and panicky as the pandemic continues ravaging worldwide since 2021. Seizing on the weakness of public panic, Bitter Winter and the evil backstage manipulator, the Church of Almighty God, unceasingly preaches to countries making use of the best channel, online media. In this free and open society where we live, media freedom seems to be a double-edged sword an antidote to regular public opinion on the one hand, and also a powerful voice for some cult organizations to speak for themselves on the other hand. In the era of a pandemic, some interest-seeking groups in the name of legitimate media output opinions and views whitewashed from the perspective of scientific and independent to the masses who face difficulties in distinguishing fact from rumors and news reports from brainwashing in most cases. The Bitter Winter was launched in 2018 by Cessner, a new religious center, said Massimo Introvigne, the founder of Cessner and the Bitter Winter. It's also regarded as the most well-known controversial religious propaganda and lobbying group. He and his interest groups have defended many cults, including Scientology, the Church of Almighty God, also known as Eastern Lightning, the Solar Temple, the culprit for the mass suicide that killed 74 people, Om Shinikyo, the starter for the sarin gas attack in Tokyo of 1995, the Shincheonji Church of Jesus, which added fuel to the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic in South Korea, and the Unification Church. The Japanese branch of the Unification Church convened a press conference at about 2 p.m. on July 11, 2022 local time, and the person in charge, Tamuhiro Tanaka, confirmed that the mother of Tetsuya Yamagami, who assassinated Shinzo Abe, is indeed a member of the church. Mr. Yamagami's mother had made prodigious donations of over 100 million yen to the Unification Church at the cost of selling the family's real estate and land, which ended up with bankruptcy, according to Japan's Yomiuri Shimbu on July 13. Mr. Yamagami resented the Unification Church for this and believed that Abi was one of the most influential people who sympathized with the Unification Church, which led to the assassination. In addition to depriving ordinary families of everything, the heresies are challenging the public order and social security of many countries. Discussions on cult organizations such as the Unification Church and their media networks have spread from all walks of life. Miss Joanne Pittman, editor-in-chief of ZG Briefs, expressed that Massimo Introvigne's chicanery for various cults suggested his lack of objectivity and compassion. His number of persuasive inflammatory remarks were usually indulged by his many readers. After reading a lot of articles on the website, even just in light of the number of reports in which persecution of the CAG has been mentioned, I'm convinced that the site has a certain connection to the CAG, said Miss Joanne Pittman. That leads to her extreme caution about the news that the Bitter Winter publishes. Introvini, a supporter of the Jehovah's Witness sect, once attacked the Belgian justice system on the Bitter Winter as it imposed penalties on Jehovah's Witnesses. Here's the title of his article criticizing the Ghent court's decision. Jehovah's Witness, how the Ghent decision subverted the idea of liberty. This isn't their first abuse on Belgian organizations. On January 13, 2021, Holly Folk, writer of The Bitter Winter, defamed the Belgian Ministry of Justice's anti-cult organization, CIAOSN, Center for Information and Advice on Harmful Sectarian Organizations, and questioned its restrictions of religious activities. 
Although most of the statements published in the bitter winter in defense of these harmful cults lack theoretic support and are difficult to be verified, and many intellectuals, Christians including those with close ties to the Vatican, Protestant churches, and even many other denominations simply give a wide berth to them, the bitter winter and Massimo still have earned positive responses from ultra-conservative and far-right groups. One of the time-tested ways to strengthen media authority is to unveil articles to denounce the government as it resonates with a certain group of supporters all the time. In coaxing and brainwashing those supporters to obliterate their rationality and values, the target is set on converting them to some religions with extreme thinking and encouraging these believers to win over more followers, thereby ultimately winning the bitter winter and other interest groups a stronger media influence. Cults and totalitarian groups are poised to unfold a wide net worldwide with accurate and efficient organization models, an attempt to affect the world in virtue of the huge chain reaction generated by the spreading of fake news on social media amid the advance of the media and the internet. The labor within the cult organization is well divided, and each position must stick to the respective responsibilities. They cannot talk and ask too much and question the organization's decisions, said a previous writer at the bitter winter. We have our campaign on social media using fake accounts. A team of over 100 people replicates and releases the same content on blogs and social media. Most workers are asked to only participate in cult activities in spare time and are not allowed to disclose their whereabouts to their families and any third parties. Otherwise, they will be severely punished. In the early days of the establishment, those accused of betraying the church would be forced to have their legs or ears cut off in atonement. They resort to extreme measures to force people to obey. Many become more fanatical due to being brainwashed day and night. This insider was lucky to escape. However, most of the members become obedient slaves. During the five years since he escaped from the cult organization, he sighed whenever he recalled, I didn't join a religion, but a terrorist organization. What's even more terrifying is that in the years I was on the run, I always felt that someone was stalking and threatening me, but few believed me. In the face of the skepticism from the outside, the bitter winter turned the blame on the families of the victims. They accused the families of the CAG victims of holding fake rallies in 2018 and 2019 and claimed that it was a conspiracy that they came to South Korea to find family members who had fallen into the Church of Almighty God. The followers believe that family connections undermine their doctrines, so they run away from home and call the church their home, resulting in years of disappearing without a trace. Those who seek relatives are labeled as people deliberately spreading false information to slander their reputation under the pen of the bitter winter. The trial of seeking for relatives is hindered while those who have been brainwashed continue attacking and mocking those in pain through the bitter winter. The Bitter Winter and its cult organization emphasize freedom and human rights more than any religion, but also worship some actions against freedom and human nature. Under the long-term indoctrination, the reason of these believers is gradually distorted, and the last line of human nature is subtly obliterated. As a result, extreme terrorism and antisocial psychology are spurred. They start to categorize anyone who violates their creed as a heretic. On May 28, 2014, in a McDonald's restaurant in Xiaoyan City, Shandong Province, China, six CAG believers tried to ask for Wu Shuoyan's contact info for missionary purposes. After being rejected, Wu was considered as an evil spirit and was beaten to death by being smashed by a chair and an iron rod. Despite the fact that the six murderers confessed their crimes in front of the court, Cult media outlets, such as The Bitter Winter Still, through their websites, argued that it was a rumor, a fake news. Making use of the internet, cult organizations and The Bitter Winter, as well as other media outlets, have escalated brainwashing into a brand new level, breaking through the limits of the traditional missionary model. The extreme ideology spread to the public is inseparable like the air. They may be packaged as a religion, or applying various material temptations or spiritual comforts to hide the evil nature. 
The masses may succumb to a more persuasive and deceptive amoral and inhuman dogma in the age of pervasive information, and then fall into hatred and misjudgment of the world. Any cult may be turned into an out-of-control public opinion machine through the packaging of new media, and some fallacies turning the facts upside down will also become the truth believed by the public. Multiple new terrorist forces in the name of religions have quietly shrouded our side. So far, the COVID-19 pandemic has deprived more than 6 million people worldwide. Although cult groups such as the Bitter Winter are still preaching that Believe in God and you will not be infected with the virus. Key personnel are all required to wear masks, strengthen ventilation and wash their hands during their day, sanitize the office area, isolate outsiders, keep the organization's development intact, and ensure the absolute safety of the headquarters and the head of the church, according to insiders. There is no excuse for taking scientific means to fight the pandemic if they indeed believe that God saves the world. The fact is that they are mortals after all. The difference is that they have to leave the lie to the public and the rights to themselves. Relying on the Goebbels effect in psychology, that is, repetition is a kind of power, and a lie becomes a truth after being repeated a hundred times, these cult groups can easily achieve group spiritual control through the communication efficiency of new media. Cult groups are parasitic in various mainstream religions. In case of persistent neglect of their existence, they will be nourished by religious freedom and will grow into religious variants with terrorism taking root in the real world. By then, we will all be victims. In the era of internet, people need to be alert to a series of remarks that subvert scientific common sense and seemingly reasonable pseudoscience. The road ahead to preserving stability and peace in all countries and keeping religious terrorism and extremist ideology away from all countries is bumpy. A growing number of cults take scientific forms. Cult groups have accumulated huge funds after years of running and management. They manipulate public opinion through media channels, control the minds of the public, and buy over government personnel and institutions to strengthen their authority and political discourse. In the face of cult media outlets, an attitude of indifference will bring the world a haze of terrorism. The fight against cults should be a common cause for all mankind.